These Philippine soldiers have made their careers fighting communist and Muslim rebels at home. Now they are training to keep the peace in hot spots around the world. Can you allow us uh, to pass this road? No, 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 no. no. We will not uh, allow you to pass here unless uh, you can give us uh, food for my people. The Philippines has contributed to the UN Blue Helmet Brigades for more than 50 years. Filipino peacekeepers recently made world headlines when they escaped a siege by Al-Qaeda-linked rebels on the Syrian side of the Golan Heights. Surrendering, as the rebels demanded, is not in their DNA. Uh, a Filipino is uh, very friendly, very accommodating, and most of all, very hospitable. But once you will attack him, he will uh, fight you in the defense of himself and the UN. Nevertheless, the Philippines is pulling out its 330 troop force from the Golan Heights because of rising security threats. More soldiers are also being brought back from Liberia because of the Ebola outbreak. Despite these withdrawals, military chiefs insist their commitment to the UN remains strong. It is an honour for us. Uh, the Filipino peacekeepers is uh, very willing to serve for the maintenance of the world peace. Lowly paid soldiers are also happy to join the UN missions because it more than doubles their salaries and advances their military careers. And with the government still keen to do its part for the UN, Filipinos will be wearing the blue helmets for many years to come.